Now another controversy, big money, but with a promise of a big payoff. That's what some are saying about the state's investment to create a bioscience industry. Today, Governor Malloy signed a bill for a $200 million fund for genetic research and hundreds of jobs. Jackson Laboratories, a state-of-the-art facility, is already being built at the Yukon Health Center in Farmington. And Channel 3's Susan Raff got a first-hand look. She's in her newsroom now with what she saw. Susan. Dennis, this is certainly a huge investment. In fact, Jackson Labs alone is getting close to $300 million. But the commitment for bioscience has the potential to create lots of jobs and even find cures for many diseases. Jackson Labs is no longer just a plan. It's a building that will be filled with labs and researchers by next fall. And even in its unfinished state, there are 46 employees. And within 10 years, there will be 300. Here at the Yukon Health Center, there is a huge commitment for the bioscience industry. This building, which is almost complete, will be for outpatient care. Governor Malloy has been a big supporter. He wants Connecticut to be a leader in bioscience. It does come with a huge price tag, but one Malloy feels will create lots of high-paying jobs. So, I mean, we're talking about a, uh, an industry in bioscience that's growing rapidly at 11% per year internationally. There is also a very personal side to all of this research. Doctors will work alongside scientists to find cures. We want Connecticut to be in the game. We want the patients in this state to have first crack at new treatments. They have to uh, respond to different types of treatments. Personalized medicine is what inspired Marcia Fournier to start her own company. They take biopsies from cancerous tumors, and based on a patient's genes, they can tailor a specific treatment so there is less trial and error, giving the patient a better chance. Bioarray Therapeutics is in what's called an incubator building. The state nurtures these startup companies until they are financially able to be independent. Fournier says the state's commitment was a big incentive. This is a definitely growing industry. Molecular diagnostic is in the infancy and uh, already showing really uh, great benefit for patients. Now we found out today there are currently 800 companies in our state, a pretty big number, that have some connection to the bioscience industry and we're told they employ about 53,000 people. Susan Raff, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.